This video is gonna make you a body shot monster. We're gonna teach you the different variations of the body shot. Not only that, we're gonna show you different ways to set that body shot up. We know that you're gonna enjoy this content. You ready to cook? Yes. Tabernacle, here we go. We're gonna start you off with the basic fundamentals. How do you stand? Feet together, shoulder width apart, proverbial line in the middle. When you're throwing your body shot, the weight has to shift. So if I'm gonna hook to the body, I'm stepped off the line, weight is here, shift the weight to the back foot. Boom, just like that. Again, you're gonna shift the weight, hook through, wham, just like that. Notice, you're not gonna be punching with your arm. When I say arm punching, stepping off the line, I see the shot, I'm gonna, uh, no, 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 it doesn't take that. It's just the simple weight shift, shoulder tight. Pop, my shoulder's tight, weight is here, and shift it, wham, just like that. My foot turns slightly, not too much. Just that slight turn, bang, I'm back to normal, bang, bang, bang. Sometimes when you're throwing this shot, you don't even have to turn the front foot. Watch the front foot, bop, you see, wham, just like that. I can wham, I can knee, I can body kick. The key is to shift the weight. Sometimes you might wanna shift it more times than other, but know that the more you shift, the more powerful it's gonna be. Now we're gonna talk about different ways to throw it. You have the normal hook, wham, and you have the shovel uppercut, boom. With the hook, it sounds just like it is. You're gonna hook his ribs towards you. These are his ribs, bam, hook it towards me. Like you're scooping his ribs. I notice oftentimes when beginners start throwing this body shot, they're throwing it and they're connecting here or they're connecting here. You don't have to do that. Simple, step out, use your knuckles to scoop it. A scoop, boom, just like that. Short and sweet. That's for the hook shot on the shovel. You're gonna use the knuckles also, but this time, instead of hooking it towards you, you're aiming at the floating ribs, the little bottom section of the ribs, and you're trying to pierce his body. Okay, very simple. Bam, off the line, I'm going straight up. Bam, right there. Short and sweet. You don't have to load it up because the power's not coming from the arm. Don't arm punch it, don't wing it. Not only can you injure yourselves, but you can see it better, right? If I come over here and I'm, oh, he's gonna block it. Versus, Bobby doesn't even see it. Boom, right there. Step out, protecting myself on the right side. Shifting that weight, boom. A quick overview over the footwork one more time. Put that proverbial center line down the middle of you. You're not gonna punch on the center line. That's elbow central. Make sure that your head is off the center line. Shift the weight. The back foot is gonna come off the ground. Weight is on the front, shift it, boom. Very simple, bop, bop. That's all it takes to land a powerful body shot to knock out your opponent. Next up, we have the hooks to the body. Now we're gonna go with the 2B, very effective. Very simple, back foot, 45. Back foot straight. Look, I barely touched them. You don't want to pull it back like a bow and arrow. The power comes from the ground. Power comes from the body. Here, bam. Extend fully, knuckle down. Not knuckle up, not knuckle straight. No, no, I want it down. Bam. And protecting your chin at the same time. Too many times I see beginners sparring or doing their drills and they punch the body and they, ugh. Too many times I see them with the opposite hand. Wow, dropping the, the lead hand. It's not good. They step back, head kick, you die short. Very simple when you throw the body shot. You're gonna line yourself up. Okay, now I'm good. This is where I throw from. Step, you see I'm preparing, and then you do it just like I'm running. On your mark, get set, go, just like that. It's faster, it's a pop, wham. Look at my distance. I'm perfect now, he can't counter attack, he can't grab me. No, no, very simple, uppercut, bop, oh, wow. Turn, protect the chin, relax the body and knuckle down. Chocolate cake. So now that you have the basic fundamentals of how to do the body punches, we're gonna show you how to set those up. Are you ready? Yes. Tabernacle. As you know, Muay Thai has elbow. This is a very risky shot, all right? I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a very risky shot. If I want me up elbow, we're playing a game of chess. So every move has a counter. To counter that, we do the willy shot. I protect myself. I'm thinking ahead of him. I'm gonna have those cojones and I'm gonna step right here. My head is still off the line. My weight is still shifted. My back foot is still up. But instead of having my hand here, I put it right here. If you try to elbow, bang, you're protected. So real life, bop, 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 willy shot, boom. Just like that. It's like a quick stab, guys. My Muay Thai, bop, uh, bop, move, willy shot, right there. Bop, 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 weight here, weight shift. It's just a quick one. Boom, stab him right there. He touch, touch, move, fake, willy shot. Boom, just like that. The next technique that we're gonna give you to land that powerful body shot to knock your opponent out, you're gonna go pull, 3B. I want you guys to start doing this. Next time you spar, I want you to take a mental note of your partner's lead hand. Too many times you'll see guys with their lead hand right here. 
So that's when you can do the pull 3B. You see that lead hand drop in? You're going to pull, you're going to fake cross, then you're going to 3B. Boom! Just like that. One more time. You see their hand, you pull it. Don't touch it and try to smack it. No, you pull. Pull, fake cross. There we go. Ooh, that's just how they're going to look. Mm, all that territory. Yeah, fine. Just like that. Boom. All right. One more time. You touch for distance. Same time you pull, you fake. If they give it to you, wham, land it. Then you go 3B. But for the most part, because we're trying to get that body shot, that cross is a fake, and it's going to really load you up for that body shot. So take advantage of that fake cross. Wham on, that's the shift. The weight shifted already on the fake. And from there, weight goes from here to here, turning the waist, yeah! Punch through the target. When we say punch through the target, don't stop here. I don't want you to, no, you punch through, through the target. Can you do it too fast? Yep, yeah, uh, yep, yeah, uh, yep, yeah, uh, yep, yeah, uh. Next on the menu of these powerful body shots, is the cross to the stomach, 2B. All you have to do to land this shot is very simple. You just distract them at the top. It's not really a jab, but it's more of a bang, just to blind them. Vertical, horizontal, vertical. Very simple, vertical, touch, throw it on. The shot that you start off with, it really doesn't matter. We're just giving you a couple of ways to do it. No matter what, the principle stays the same with the first shot. You're gonna use it as a distraction. Vertical jab, throw it. Um, uppercut, toy, a uh, bang, bang, touch, toy. You notice the pattern? It's all about distraction. Make sure that you touch first, because that way you're not going to overextend or stuff yourself. Then from there, you, you're fast with it. Bang, got him. Touch, step, uh, and then, uh, mm -hmm. notice his distance is good. I can't hit him. He can't hit me. He landed a powerful shot. Knuckle down. Mm -hmm. We're going to work on the body shots on the bag. You're gonna make sure that the proverbial line is in the middle of you. You're gonna work on setting up the fakes and the fake, just like we did with the drills. Are you ready, Tito? Yes. Show them what time it is. Bop, make sure it's a long extension. Bang, good. Notice he didn't stand in the same spot. He moved back half a step, okay? That's gonna give you room. So even when you're doing bag work, like we told you before, pop, pop, feet didn't move. Pop, pop, feet didn't move. Not smart. Let's get him. Up, wham, wham, there you go. If the bag swings back, take a little step back. Then you're gonna cover the distance again. Bop, making sure you're off the center line. Yeah, fine, good. So you're gonna visualize you're grabbing at their lead hand. Grab, set it up, wham, punch through the bag. Keep going, very nice. Line in the middle, setting up with the fakes. Bam, there we go. Touch it for distance. Wham, long shot. Shoulder moving a little bit. Bop, bop, wop, wop. Back and forth on the line. You're gonna use that line to go back and forth. Up, shoulder, shoulder, and then yop. Good, very nice. Make sure you're punching through the target. Don't stop at the target. Rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it. Uh, there you go, hot up, hot up. Uh, there you go, make it pop. Make it pop like hamstrings. Make it pop, yop. There you go, beautiful. So that's only a snippet of the full version that's now available on the KMA Online Muay Thai Drills and Workouts Program. To get registered for four tiers of authentic Muay Thai, all you have to do is hit the link in the pinned comment or the description. And to get dripped out with us with KMA apparel and Muay Thai training gear, just hit that shop link in our pinned comment in the description. If you want more Muay Thai tutorials on our channel, all you have to do is click this video right here. It's gonna give you our full playlist that we know that you're gonna enjoy.